G'day guys, it's Tom here from Richardson Marine. Just wanted to go through our latest Stabycraft build here. So this one we've got a 2750 Ultra Center Cab. Um, so 27 and a half foot, we've got 500 horsepower on the back. So two twin 250 Suzuki's. Those engines are, are just really good, really perfect match for this boat. Plenty of power, still really good on fuel. So this boat here, we've got it sitting on an easy tow aluminium trailer got the boat catch system at the front for easy launch and retrieve. The other really cool thing with this boat that we've done is we've put the electronic steering on it. So we've got two joystick controls, so it allows us to, to drive the boat from the back or the front with that joystick. Also has position hold as well, so you can just press the button and it'll just hold you on that one spot. So on the back of this boat here, we've got a pair of 250 Suzuki's. So these models, so it's V6 4 litre. It's also got the Suzuki Precision Control. So that's all electronic shift and throttle. So no more control cables. The other beauty about the Suzuki Precision Control and these 250's is they've got selective rotation. So it's the same engine for port and starboard and same gearbox. All you do is you just swap a plug over and then one engine turns into your counter rotating engine. So the beauty about that is that you can just pull this engine off and the counter rotating engine, if you went to say sell it, just put it on another boat, change a plug and then you've got a regular rotation engine again. So at Richardson Marine, we've been with Suzuki for probably over 10 years now. The main reason we like Suzuki is reliability, really good on fuel, like this thing here, 500 horsepower and we're getting 1K per litre combined. So yeah, that's Suzuki, it's, it's the ultimate outboard. So on this boat here, we've fitted the RL pot winch. So this customer here is from South Australia, so they're allowed to use cray pots. So you'll be using this, it'll actually swing out um, and then you can pull your pot up. We've also made this custom um, aluminium kind of protector uh, for the top of the gunnel. And it also has some rubber matting that actually slides in both sides just to protect the paintwork. We can actually remove this as well and it'll actually clip onto the back of the boat. So when he's line fishing and he's done pulling his pots for the day, he can just move that straight out of the way. If he's not using this, um, he can actually just unplug it from the Anderson plug and put it in the shed, leave it at home. So we're just inside the cabin of this 2750. So starting back here, we've got our joystick control. Um, so that allows us to, to drive the boat from up here in the cabin whilst we're docking. Got the Suzuki precision control, so all electronic shift and throttle. Um, we've got two Garmin displays here, so we've got a 110 inch unit and then one 16 inch unit. So we'll probably run his sounder up here on the 10 inch unit, that way we can see it from the back of the boat whilst we're fishing. And then the big 16 inch display here for our radar and our navigation. Um, we've got our two Suzuki gauges. Um, we've also got a Victron uh, display there, so it's showing us all our battery uh, monitoring for the boat. VHF radio um, and then our fusion radio. We've also got our pie warmer in this boat, um, which is tucked underneath the seat there. The other cool thing with the cabin of the 2750 is this fold down extension. So we can actually fold that down and make a full kind of six foot V berth up the front for if you're going away camping for the weekend. The other thing with the cabin of the 2750 is a little fold up seats. So if you want, we can sit six people in this cabin. Uh, when you're not sitting down, you can just flip them up out of the way um, and then you can store kind of eskies and anything in underneath them.